In early June of 2023, a series of damning screenshots began making their way through the Minecraft community. These screenshots, which had come from an uncredible source, would lay the foundation of one of the biggest controversies in the Minecraft community, with the person involved even having ties to one of the biggest content creators, Dream. Bonker was exposed in a video created by myself over a year ago. He was found talking to a 14-year-old in a sexual manner while being 18. These actions were absolutely disgusting, and he should have gotten shit for it. A few months after my video's release, a series of documents hit my messages. These documents held disgusting Discord screenshots claiming to show Sponker grooming multiple minors over the course of three years. I'm going to roll a few of the screenshots across the screen right now for context. These messages were horrid, so I decided to make an entire video going over them. This video received over 50,000 views in one day, with hundreds of comments. There was no defending Sponker here. It was impossible after this video. But what if I told you everything in this video was fake? Every screenshot, every document, and even the Instagram DMs. They were all fabricated in order to muddy the water of the real allegations and the real victim situation. Waters is a user who's gone around multiple communities making fake evidence against creators. For no reason, other than to ruin people's lives. They meticulously fabricated years worth of screenshots in order to get me to make a second video about Spencer. Making evidence in order to ruin someone is absolutely disgusting and Waters should be ashamed of themselves. You have to be on another level of mentally ill to do that kind of thing. After I found this out, I privated the video, made multiple community posts about how I was wrong, and the situation died down. I thought I was done with it. I thought I'd never be talking about Spunker or the situation ever again. That was until someone faked a response from Spunker, which caused me to jokingly message Spunker's Instagram account which I found to put the response back up. After some talking, I started to realize that he has been making some big changes in his life, and was genuinely disgusted at his past actions and who he used to be. Seeing this, I made the decision to be in his response and apology video. As a creator who makes the videos I do, I made a mistake which should never have happened. So I wrote my wrongs and debunked every single claim that the second video made in his response video. Bonker has fully apologized, showed change, and has after a year responded to the allegations. I also want to apologize to you. I know words alone can't undo the harm I caused, and I understand that this apology takes up less time in the video than many people would expect it to. However, I think it's more important to be short and genuine than to spend minutes pandering to fake sincerity. So from the bottom of my heart, I am deeply sorry to everyone who has been involved and hurt because of this. My friends and all of you. This video did a great job showing people what was true and what was false without undermining the real proof. While the original set of allegations I made were true and were disgusting, to me it is my obligation to make this video, showing the truth and letting everyone know that my second video is wrong. Looking back on my original video and looking at how he is now, all I can ask for anyone I make videos on is to improve themselves and make changes to fix their lives. Many people are upset at me for appearing in Spunker's video which I would understand if it wasn't for the fact I was proving what I said to be false. People do not have to accept Spunker's apology, and I don't blame anyone who doesn't. But being upset at me for disproving false allegations I made is stupid. If anything, they should be mad at me for making the second video. Being upset with me for disproving a video I made with false shit and acknowledging that Spunker has changed is wild to me. Some people WANTED the second set of allegations to be true. Accept him or not, no one deserves to be dragged through the mud with fake shit. Wanting allegations to be true about grooming goes to show that you do not care at all about the real victims. I hope this video goes to show how easy it is to run with rumors. And fake allegations. It happens on the internet every single day, and I myself is someone who has done it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and if you want more information, watch Sponker's apology video. And I'm sorry to Sponker, and anyone who's watched the second video I had uploaded.